All right, in the last video, I showed how to create a custom child theme from the 2017 WordPress team. In that video, I showed how to create it, of course, and then add some styles to the new style.css to you know make some changes to the header and change the color as well. In this video, I want to show how you can uh, add the PHP files to your child theme and make some customizations that way. So in this video, I'm going to show how to remove or change the proudly powered by WordPress. So what we want to do is actually find where this is in our parent theme. So back in, in our development environment, uh, in the themes directory, we have the 2017 parent theme. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And since I'm familiar with WordPress, I know that that's in the footer file. So if I go to footer here, you can kind of read through here and see what's going on. There's getting a template part. Looks like there's a menu down there that you can add from the WordPress dashboard and then another uh, template part as well. So let's go and try to find where these template parts. So over here, there's this template parts and then it looks like template parts, footer, which is right here. And then we have this footer widgets. So it looks like there's some widget areas in the footer. And then we have this site info. So that site info, you can see here that it says proudly powered by and whatever it's going to be, WordPress. So this is the file that we need to change. So what I'm going to do is create the same directory structure in my child theme. So you see here 2017, we have these template parts, we have footer, and then we have that site info. So in my 2017 child, I'm going to create a new folder, call it template parts then in that folder I'm going to create footer and then in that file or in that folder I'm going to add that site info.php so what I normally do is go to the parent theme and go get the exact file that I want to change in this case this one so I'm just gonna copy this file and then put it into my child theme directory. So 2017 child, template parts, footer, and then place it right in there, paste item. So if we reload the front end, I still have appearance themes. I'm still using my child theme. So I just added that new file. You can see here that it's still down here. So what we want to do is actually go edit that file. So in my child theme, I now have template parts, footer, site info. So here we go, proudly powered by WordPress. So for now, let's just I'm gonna comment this out to see if it makes if it disappears. So we'll save that. Reload the front end, scroll down to the bottom. You can see that it's gone now. So it's a super easy way. Let's let's add a custom link or something. So here's an A tag and then something like my custom link. Save that. Refresh the front end. There we go. My custom link. So that's a quick video on how to edit the actual markup in your child theme. If you want to add add and edit other files, I'd recommend just going to the parent theme and you know adding them as they are in the parent theme in the same directory to your child theme. You can also add custom files to your child theme, say custom templates or whatever you want to do. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below.